everybody. Hello, this is Ross Whitaker. I'm back. It's been a little while, but I am back. And this is going to be a rant today, but this is a more serious rant, guys. I know I have the funny rants usually come about, but there's sometimes times whenever we got to be serious. And that's just going to happen to me today. Everybody, I've seen this happen every day. Um, and when I'm driving down the road or uh, when I'm with friends, I see it happen a lot. And... It's, it needs to stop. And this is, this rant today is on texting and driving, everybody. I'm going to tell you all just a couple of details about texting and driving. Basically, you take your attention off of the road. That's all we need to know. That's bad enough. Taking your attention off the road for anything but the road is a bad idea. Your vehicle is your vehicle. Vehicles are deadly. And it's very terrible. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Vehicles can be deadly if they aren't used right. And if you're texting and driving, you're not paying attention to what's in front of you. I can tell you that. I've seen a lot more accidents than I've seen any other time because of texting and driving. Guys, I understand. You got to text your girlfriend and ask if you want to, you know, do it later. But that can wait. That can wait. What can't wait is your own life, you know. If you're driving down the road and you just happen to pull your phone out, you look down for two seconds. Within that two seconds, anything can happen anything and you won't be prepared for it because you never knew it was there why you were looking at a text message I'm telling you guys it's a dumb way to go out and don't do it I'm really telling you there's there's reasons guys it's basically a death wish base anytime you take your attention off the road is a death wish people because here, here here's here's the first problem not always are people watching around them either so it may be up to you to watch for them and that is where your place falls in. If you can't fulfill that, then what do you think is going to happen? Obviously, there's something bad is going to happen. Guys, it can wait. It really can. Like the AT, like AT and T says, texting and driving, it can wait. It can wait. It's it's not a necessity, guys. If anything, get a Bluetooth headset in your car, or if you have a Bluetooth stereo in your car, just hook it up to your stereo, or get a Bluetooth headset if you want to talk in your phone. Hands free, guys. Hands free, or download a text speech app on your phone so you can talk and it converts it to text so you don't have to type it. Or have a friend type for you. That's the best recommendation. If you're partying out with a bunch of friends, there is no reason why you can't just hand your phone over to your friend and let him text for you. There is no purpose. I'm telling you guys, I've seen a lot of people die, and it's sad. And why? That could have been avoided just by avoiding that phone or that distraction. And this is going to be a little bit off topic, but this is getting off a serious note because I really can't have a serious rant. It's not me, and my rant style was not serious. It's funny. Other people dicking off, and then there's other, there's other, trust me, there's more than just cell phones that distract people. Trust me. Number two, makeup. Okay, let's get this straight. Girls, do your fucking makeup before you go, like, out. And that was the purpose because obviously it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you three hours to put it on anyway. And you're only doing a 45 minute commute probably, maybe an hour. So you don't even have enough time to put it on. Because you take too goddamn long. This is why I like being a guy. Because I can get up in the morning. I can get up, get a shower, and then I'm done for the day. I can just throw my shit on, my underwear, depending. Clothes, I would hope so. Uh, well, I hope I wear clothes. Anyway... Yeah, and that's my day. And then there we go. I don't spend no fucking three hours fixing my hair or, you know, doing this or this or this. That's, that's besides the point. Distractions, guys. Distractions. Doesn't mean you... D -d 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 Distractions. Okay. This means you cannot, A, eat in a car, drink... Well, drinking may be an exception as long as it's not a beer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't drink a beer while you're driving. That could turn out bad anyway. No drinking. No eating your... Well... No eating food while you're driving, that's a big distraction. No texting while driving, no playing with yourself while driving. Don't have your girlfriend be touching anything on you when you're driving because you may get excited and go too fast and cause a wreck. Or, 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 you'll make a mess in your car and uh, explain that to your parents. <laughs> hey mom, guess what me and my girlfriend did in the back of your car? Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. We don't want that to happen. So guys, distractions, distractions, distractions. You can't avoid them. It's not that hard. Just tell her to wait. If she really wants it that bad, tell her, just, just tell her to go hop on the next thing like she already does. Maybe. See, this is why I can't be in a relationship, guys. Because I suck. I suck at a lot of things. And, um, I just, I, I think I have a negativity sometimes. But that's besides the point. 
Anyways, guys, back to the main point of this whole rant. It can wait. You can send that text message. You you can talk to these people anytime. What's more valuable, that message you're going to send out or your own life? That's how you got to think about it. And if you're if you're looking at this video and saying, "Oh, this never happens. People like people can text and drive and multitask." No, they can't. Either way you do it, you still have to take your eyes off of the road to look at your phone. And you cannot deny that. There is no way in hell that you cannot look at your phone and tax it. It may be a little bit hard unless you memorize your keyboard, but I wouldn't recommend doing that either. Another problem is you're taking a hand off the steering wheel. Usually, if you're texting and driving, a lot of people I've seen text and drive have one hand with their phone, the other hand's on the steering wheel. Usually. What else does that mean? Say like, for instance, a deer jumps out in front of you. You need two hands on a steering wheel in order to control your vehicle. Correctly, at least. One hand, you're probably not going to be able to do that, and you can cause yourself an accident, you can cause a bad accident, you can get yourself killed, seriously hurt. Guys, like I said, it just, just really just wait. It's stupidity. I mean, it, it's a state law, too. Don't text and drive. Really. Just don't do it. Anything cannot be that important that would be important enough to risk your own life to answer. Just wait. If, if anything, stop at a stoplight. Whenever you stop at a stoplight, text the person back. If you absolutely, if this is like a complete emergency, just text them back when you're stopped. But don't do it while you're driving. Let me tell you something, guys. What happens if you pass a driver that does, it's texting and driving, and then you're texting and driving? Both of those people are distracted. None of them are watching the road. What does that cause? Something bad. Guy, it, like I said, it's very easy. Now, this is going to be more of a serious rant today, but again, guys, um, just to explain a few things that are coming up here, this is going to be the end of the rant, by the way. A couple of things that are coming up here with RCR Productions, as you know, um, we haven't really personally done much myself, I haven't either, but I do plan to redo a lot of things with, the, with uh, RCR here. Um, I plan to bring a lot more up to the table, you know, as far as entertainment goes. So, guys, if you have any recommendations, if you have any ideas, creative ideas, as far as what we can do as videos, or anything like that, shoot them in. We take negative and positive feedback. Negative feedback helps us get better. Positive feedback just can just basically guarantees us. Guarantees us. That's all we need, guys. And we, the more feedback we get, the more we can probably appeal to what you guys would like. So, guys, today's topic, again, was texting and driving. And remember, guys, it's not worth a life. It really is not. Personally, I've never had a, well, I've had a couple of people I've known in my life that have gotten to accidents because of that. It's very bad, and some of them are extremely sad. Some people died. It's not a, it, yeah, it's not a game, guys. The road's not a game. Driving's not a game. It's not, it, it, driving is a privilege, and your life is a privilege. Why would you throw away such a perfect privilege just to send a message? That's your question you have to think about today. If you text and drive, why would you throw everything away for one message? Now think about that. And it's very true. Everybody would tell you the exact same thing I just said. Any professional that works for the business and that, that's trying to promote that, or anybody that is against that will tell you the exact same thing because it's true. It is very, very true. Well, guys, my name is Russ again, and I really hoped you enjoyed this video. Not really much of a rant, but it was more of a uh, point I was trying to make. Don't text and drive. So, guys, special shout-out today for that. Everybody have a great day. Enjoy the nice weather. If you're in the Northeast, if you're in the Midwest, eh, you'll still enjoy it either way. Maybe a few storms. Alrighty, guys. Well, you all have a great day, and thank you for watching.